Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a rubric with an assignment in Canvas. So the first thing you want to do is load up your Canvas course. So here's my course. And I'm just going to pop over to my modules and find the assignment I want to work with. So I'm going to work with this creating learning experiences assignment. Um, I want to assign a rubric to this particular assignment. So I'm going to click on the assignment, open it up, and then I'm going to scroll to the bottom after all the little text. And there is a little plus button that says rubric. So by clicking that button, it brings up the rubric box where I can give it a title. So I want to give it a title that kind of identifies usually what the assignment is. So I might say um, I might associate it with the name of the assignment to help me kind of pair those two together. And then in the criteria, I can click on the little pencil to change the name of the description. So I might um, talk about what the um, what I'm evaluating the students on. So this might be on grammar, and I would indicate I can indicate what that um, what I'm looking for specifically, or maybe I'm looking for how they're answering the question, or um, their use of references. So whatever it is that you are evaluating the student on, you can throw that into this criterion zone. And then here in the ratings, now it kind of defaults to five points, and you'll notice there are just two options, but I can add more by clicking on the plus. So I'm going to just say update. For, okay, fine. Uh, so you want to think about when you are developing your rubric, what your ratings are going to be called. So I've just kind of like thrown some titles in and some numbers, so I'm going to edit these. So by clicking on the pencil, maybe this is really 10 points. And on my three levels, maybe I'm going to say um, exemplary. And for three, so I'm going to say this is maybe five points. I'm going to call this competent. And for zero points, I'm maybe going to call this developing. So there are lots of options. If you go online, you can come up with your own um, scale levels for your ratings. You want to think about what those are and um, how you are explaining them to students. And you can also kind of explain what those are in the description. And then you can continue to add criteria. I can think about this. Um, I can add, so maybe this one is more in-depth, right? So I can change up what those um, different rate ratings are and the different levels for each criterion. And then before you save, so think about your total points. So this is going to tell you how much your rubric is worth. Um, think about are you going to write any comments when you assess your students? Are you not going to show the points to the students? Um, maybe kind of ignore this one for now. Are you going to use your rubric to grade your students? And are you going to hide the total score? I usually at least use the rubric for grading. Um, that's what I do, but you can. it depends on how you are um, grading your assignment. And mine, because my point value for this assignment is currently sent as zero. It's going to give me a little warning. It's going to say, hey, wait a minute. This, these don't match. So I'm going to say, I would like to change the total points for my assignment. So now it's worth 25. So now my assignment has a rubric associated with it, and I can use it for grading my students. So that's how you set up a rubric in Canvas.